Hi everyone, this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. And uh, welcome to the new energies of this year. Spring has started here in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, there's a lot coming through uh, in the collective. Each person individually will uh, live these changes uh, differently. But in the global scale of things, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to line itself up with everything else that is, uh, that is like, oh, time is so relative. But each individual person is receiving these energies in a different way. Well, in a different way, sort of in a different way. Or maybe it touches base with a different aspect in your life. Some may be on the career front. Some may be on the love relationship or on the development of a relationship with yourself and the divine. So, let's see what we got for the collective. Maybe on questions on how to receive these new energies. They may be there and reachable, but how do you allow that or bring or, or become the magnet to attract that for yourself? And what is it that you may need to clear away within so that you can allow that to take that new space you created within yourself. Hey, so let's see what we got. All right. I've been shuffling. Nothing came out yet. Well, let's see how the collective could ooh, receive these. There's three here. What do we got? Definitely. Celebrate the small steps, whatever it is that you know you've accomplished within yourself. It could be anything. It could be, um, like, I'll give you an example. Someone had an accident and they can't walk, but they're in recovery and they're doing the physio, they're doing the exercise, they're doing, and they're learning how to walk again. So every step is to be celebrated. Every step of whatever it is that has been a challenge is now becoming um, easier. There's a lot more ease into uh, recovery or into gaining understanding for yourself. This will leave you in a state that you're very satisfied, emotionally satisfied, because you're doing this for you. You're, um, you're loving on yourself more. That's part of the energies that are coming in. Ooh. Right now, in the middle of the read, Ace of Swords, an opportunity comes in for you to be able to cut whatever it is that you no longer need, whether it's a limiting belief, whether it's um, just uh, releasing certain pent-up emotions that's been there for, for years and, and created blockages or created some kind of uh, standstill. Or stagnation within and, and it felt like a blockage and you know what you were wanting you know what you'd love to have in your life and you just you just need to heal or reconstruct or cut away those parts but make sure you have something to replace it with so that you don't go crumbling down okay all right what else do we got the sun is setting here it's getting a little darker i'm doing a car reading and the snow is just little flurries coming down, which is nice. It's not uh, very cold. So this is the this is the snowfalls that will melt the rest of the snow away. That's what a lot of elders said way back. And it still holds some truth today. So we wait and see. All right, what else do we got for this collective at the moment? People, places, and things. Ooh. After that, you've been cutting stuff away. There's a momentum that starts to build. And that momentum is to be in that receiving mode. And this is the chariot. Chariot is definitely one of the uh, major arcana. And it's a card of movement, decision, into a direction. Because you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that... This is what you need to do for you and will benefit you and others around you. Okay. Woo! What else do we got? Creating that balance within. 
All right. Through all the card readers everywhere, there's a lot of repetition. And a lot of them, they'll speak about, you've put a lot of effort into, into standing and who you know yourself to be. And uh, through those experiences, there may be things that, you know, went bump into the night or that kind of triggered or upset you. And the thing is what it did, it flipped you. And then now you're seeing things from a different perspective. This different perspective is actually helping you to be more grounded for yourself and doing what you need to do for yourself for uh, creating that ease in the material realm, in the 3D, 3D, 4D, all around for yourself. And you do that by following your intuition, your internal promptings. They'll always lead you where you need to go, where you need to be. Okay, what else do we got after the chariot? Because this was like a side note. After the chariot, look at that. Wheel of fortune turning in your favor. However it is that you align yourself with your energies, that's what you're going to receive. You become the magnet of your own reality. You attract how it is that you feel, not how it is you think. And you'll be very successful. This is the victory card on the bottom of the deck. Keep faith in yourself. Know that the universe got your back. Ooh, something else flipped here. All right. Everything will be made anew again. The judgment, the judgment has been cast a while back before you even took this path or these transformations. And it said that you would be made anew again by the energies of the divine when you choose to allow them in and to receive them. So this has been your message collective. This is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. I will see you next time.